Hi guys, it's Christine. Welcome back and welcome if this is your first time here. In today's video, we're going to be opening up a box of jewelry that I purchased from shopgoodwill.com. So let's dive in. And this box weighs in at 3.4 pounds. Okay, so I hope everyone is doing well. We are approaching Christmas really soon and winter is upon us. It's coming quickly. It's just so strange how the year has just gone by in a blink of an eye. So it's very nicely packaged. It has this nice bubble wrap on top. And then we have a nice bag of goodies. So this lot was a 3.4 pound lot of brooches. So I'm curious to see what's in here. So if you're looking for brooches, this may be the video for you, because I certainly have some. So let's take a look and see what's inside this bag, shall we? Okay. So, first thing out of the bag. So the first thing out of the bag is this nice brooch. Um, it's sort of like a, I don't know if it looks like, I'm not sure what it is actually, but it's very pretty, it's a light gold wash. And I don't know if some of the gold plating may be coming off. I mean, I do see a little bit of green stuff here, so I think, I don't know if that's, so hard to tell with my lighting, if that's verdigris, but I do see some of the gold plating coming off. And here is a little cartouche. And I believe that to be, the Premier Designs logo, if I'm not mistaken. So here we have a Premier Design brooch for the first item out of the bag. And if anybody is interested in this, this will be $3 if anybody wants it. So next we have this brooch. This is really pretty. I guess it could be worn either this way or this way. And here's the clasp. Definitely could be cleaned up a little bit. It has some white stuff here. I don't know if the metal is coming off here, but we have this brooch. It's unmarked. If anybody is interested in this, this will be $3 as well. Okay. Next we have here, really pretty brooch. This is gorgeous. See that? Really beautiful rhinestone brooch. And I believe all the rhinestones are there. It certainly looks that way. Very beautiful. This is gorgeous. And I don't believe that this is marked. It doesn't look to be marked. And that is a nice pin back. Very pretty. If anybody's interested in this one, this one will be $8. It's gorgeous. Love that. Okay, next we have here. Wow, this is a stunner as well. Look how pretty this one is. These giant rhinestones. And we have like moons here, looks like. Very pretty. Let's see if this one is marked. And this is a foil back. You can see the foil back rhinestones. If you could see the skies right there, that'd be 
can't make it out for the life of me. It looks like it's a Spain or Spina. So I'm not sure what this brooch is. So I'm going to hold off on selling this and I will look it up. That is a very beautiful brooch. Very pretty. So we have that one. Okay. Next we have here a pearl brooch, gold tone. That's the back of it. Very pretty. Uh, this one is not marked. Beautiful. And I don't know if I should be giving you measurements on this. But this is about two and a half inches. Really pretty. If anybody wants this, this one will be three dollars. Okay. Next we have here a pretty brass brooch. Very pretty. And oops, sorry. Very pretty brassy brooch here. And these are glass beads. And we have a skeleton key, a little leaf here, and a little bee. Very cute. Love the colors on this. And this is the back of it. And here's the glue marks. I'm pretty sure that's how it was made. But it's really nice. And let's check if this works. Yes, it does. It's very nice and tight. Nobody wants this one. This one will be $5. It's cute. I really like that one a lot. Okay, next we have here a star brooch. That's really nice. Let's see if I can wipe this down a bit because it has some marks on it. It shines up nicely. There are a few scratches on it, but it's very pretty. It has this brush gold and then this is shiny here. And this is the back of it. Nice and tight there. There's no mark on this, but that's really cute. I love that. I love how the one of the points here is longer than the others. It's a lot of personality. If anybody's interested in this one, this one will be five dollars. Okay, there's a lot of brooches in here, so I'm not sure if we can get through this in one video. We'll see how long this takes. So we have this gorgeous leaf brooch, gold tone, and I love the detailing on the veins in this leaf. It's gorgeous. And this is the back of it. It's very lightweight, very pretty. Cute little leaf brooch. Lovely. If anybody's interested in this, this will be three dollars. Next we have here, very beautiful leaf. It's brushed gold. This one has a mark and it is marked Sour Cub. See the mark right there? Sour Cub and Tree. So we have a Sour Cub and Tree leaf brooch. This is in excellent condition. It's uh, really tight here in the pin back. And then it has, actually has a hook here. So I wonder if you can put that on a pendant. I mean, on a necklace. Pin that. Very beautiful. If anybody's interested in this, this will be. Five dollars. Beautiful Sarah Coventry brooch. Okay, next we have here 
gorgeous starfish. Now this is beautiful, and I also love how expressive the starfish's feet are. And let's see, is this working? Is this working? There's no mark on him, but he is gorgeous. I just love this starfish. If anybody's interested in him, we'll do him for six dollars. She's very cute. Very cute starfish. Okay, next we have here a very gorgeous brooch. Sort of this brush gold, textured gold, and this is the back of him. And let's see if there's a mark on this. I do not see a mark on this gorgeous brooch. And I'm sort of surprised that it is really beautiful. And if anybody wants this, this will be five dollars. Really beautiful brooch. Next we have here another leaf brooch. This one has some lovely veining. I love how it's matte gold here, and then we have the shiny accents on around it, on the outline, on the stem. And this is the back of it. And I wonder if this is... Precious metals? No, it is not. Quite beautiful, anyway. If anybody's interested in this, this will be five dollars. Okay. Next we have here. I'm not sure what this is actually. I think it's a plant of sorts. Let's see, and this is the back of it. It says 12 on here. And there is no mark. So I'm not sure, but it looks like some type of plant. I'm guessing. It's very beautiful. Beautiful enameling here. If anybody's interested in this, this will be $5 as well. Next we have here, the star brooch, this wavy pattern. This is not marked. Beautiful brooch. I'll do this one for $5 as well. Okay. Next we have here a very beautiful brooch. It's gold tone, shiny, and this does not have a mark. No, very pretty. This one measures, I'll give you a measurement on this one because it's a slightly larger one. This measures about two and a half inches. Very pretty, good condition. Five dollars as well. Okay, next we have a beautiful Silver tone rose brooch. It's got this matte brushed gold and this shiny, I mean, silver, silver. And here is the pin back. Let's see if this one's marked. It is not marked. It's very beautiful. Look at the detail on that guy. And if anyone wants this, this would be five dollars as well. We have here another leaf brooch. I feel like I've received a lot of these in my previous boxes. But this one's in really good condition. It's really shiny. And there is no mark on this one. Really pretty. This will be four dollars. 
itself. So we have here a wreath brooch, really pretty one. And again, with this textured and the shiny pattern here. This one's not marked. This one will be $4 if anybody's interested. Next we have a giant brooch. This looks like it could be from the 80s. It has a clasp like so. The back is gunmetal and the front is this faceted acrylic cabs here. Um, the back of this one, I think you can see some of the glue residue, but it's not really obvious, I don't think, when you have it on because it's so shiny. That's really beautiful. It's a statement pin. And let's see how big this one is. This one is about three inches. If anybody wants this, this will be five dollars as well. Next we have this gorgeous pin. Wow. This one's beautiful. Look at the rhinestones on this guy. They're A, B rhinestones. Coated rhinestones. Really beautiful. I think all the rhinestones are there. This is gorgeous. And this one surprisingly is not marked as well. A lot of unsigned beauties, as Anna from Vintage Jewelry Galore might say. This one's beautiful. Wow, I really like this one. And just because I like it so much, I think this one will be ten dollars. If anybody's interested, really beautiful brooch. Next, we have this gorgeous heart brooch. Wow, oh, that's really pretty. And it's sort of this purpley, I don't know, brownish topazy color. It's clear in the middle, and then it's got these facets around the side. Really cute. And this is unmarked. Really beautiful. I could see somebody putting a, a brooch converter here. Maybe they have because it's a little bent. Okay. Push that back. And we're th wearing this as a pendant. It's beautiful. See that? It's like translucent in the middle. Really pretty. And this measures about one and a half inches. That's gorgeous. And if anybody wants this one, this one will be eight dollars. Okay, next we have this brooch and this has beautiful, I wonder if this is an older one because the pin extends further out, I'm not sure. This does have some wear on it. It's really pretty brushed gold and textured detailing on this. Very beautiful. Let's back up a little bit and let's get a measurement on him. He is about three and a half inches. Very beautiful. And this one will be five dollars too. Next we have another similar looking brushed gold pin. There is some wear on it. Some of the gold plating has rubbed off, but it's still beautiful. And this one is marked. This one is a BSK. There is the mark. And yeah, it's another leaf brooch. If anybody's interested in this, this one will be $5 as well. Okay, we have here a little teeny tiny pin back here. And I guess you could wear it this way or that way. 
Not sure what this symbolizes, but it's abstract and interesting. Maybe a bow of sorts. If anybody's interested in this, this will be $5 as well. Next we have here, gorgeous brooch. Now this one is beautiful. Look at this one, guys. How pretty this is. Wow, I love the detailing on this. So beautiful. Is this one marked? This one is not marked as well. So many unsigned beauties here. I'm so surprised. And this one is in fine working order. Really pretty. And another leaf brooch. So if you're interested in anything you see in these videos, and if I didn't say this earlier, please feel free to email me at girlyorocks at gmail.com and we can work something out. And please, for this video especially, provide me with a timestamp and a screenshot because there's so many different brooches and so many different leaf brooches. It's gonna be really confusing for me to identify which one you want. So I'd really appreciate it if you could provide the timestamp and a screenshot of the items that you're interested in. So this one's gorgeous. This one is not marked, but I really love this and I feel like it's really good quality. Um, let's do this one for $7. Okay, next we have here, beautiful brooch. Not marked again. It's abstract, sort of a bow with a teardrop pearl here. Very nice. This one will be $4. Here we have here a pearl brooch with some rhinestones. It's like a bar, it's a bar brooch, bar pin. It's the back of it, silver tone. There is no mark on it. Very pretty. I like that a lot, very simple looking. And this one will be $4 if anybody wants that. Next we have another leaf brooch. And this one is very shiny, gold, and on the bottom here it looks sort of copperish. Not sure if that is intentional or if you not sure. But this is the back of it. It is unmarked. And in good working order. So we have this leaf brooch, very pretty. If anybody wants this, this one will be $5. Okay, next we have here. Wow, this one's gorgeous, guys. This one I love. It's wire wrapped. And we have this little gold center. Really pretty brooch. I love this. It's a 60s feel to it. It's like very retro to me and vintage. This is not marked. This is sterling. Hmm. Don't know. I don't think it is because I think this was marked as an old costume lot, but you never know, right? Hmm. Interesting. So let's test this and see if it turns bright blue. If it does, then we have sterling on our hands. If it eats up the line, which it does, it is not sterling. But it's still very beautiful. So we have this beautiful daisy brooch. I love this, guys. It's so pretty. This one I'm going to have to ask $10 for. That is just gorgeous. Next we have here a stick pin. Oh, it has this little, sort of a door knocker. And this is marked. It is a Monet. So there is the mark. And 
Just a little door knocker. It's cute. Imagine you're wearing on your jacket. This will be four dollars if anybody wants that. Okay, next we have here very beautiful brooch. There is some vertigree going on here. But all the pearls are here and it is unmarked. It's beautiful though. It probably could uh, use a good cleaning and if somebody could take off the vertigree, that would be great. So this one will be $2 because it needs some help. Next we have this teeny tiny brooch. And then here we have, I don't know if that's glass. It feels like it's glass. It's clear, domed center. And then this is the interesting pin back here. So I think this is a more modern brooch. It's teeny. I'm guessing from the 80s. And this one is about one and a half inches. That's really cute. This will be $4. Next we have here a green brooch. Very pretty rhinestones. And at the back is brass. No mark on the sky. Very pretty. I love the color on this. This one measures in at three inches. If anybody's interested in this, this one will be four dollars. Okay, let's keep going. Next we have another leaf brooch. So we could definitely pair that up with the last leaf brooch that we saw, which I cannot find right now, but you could definitely wear it with the other one. It's really cute. And this one will be $4. I think I said $4. If not, I apologize. It'll be the same price as the last one. Next we have here a rhinestone brooch, and these rhinestones look very smoky. Very pretty. Here's the back of it. There is no mark. Very beautiful. This will be four dollars if anybody wants that. Beautiful. Okay. Next we have here another sort of a leaf brooch. There is some stuff here. Not sure what that is. Let's try and remove it while we are here. Not sure. Hmm. So it looks like it is some sticky residue and we've got this ugh, know that is a sticker maybe. It was a price tag. Definitely needs to be scraped off but I think it can be done. So now we've got this brushed silver and then We've got this shiny silver here, but now it looks like it's sort of brushed silver because of all this residue here. It could definitely be cleaned up, I think. This is the back of it, and this one is marked. And this one says P-I-M. So not familiar with P-I-M. There's the mark. Um, so I will have to look this up, and I will provide a price down below for it. And I'll try and clean this up and let you know if I was successful. Okay, we have that. Okay, next we have very pretty porcelain or ceramic flower brooch and pendant. You can wear this as a pendant. That's really pretty. It's gold and pink sort of like an AB wash over it. Very beautiful. So we'll wear it this way as a pin, this way as a pendant. And this one measures about two inches by almost three inches. 
Very beautiful. This one will be $8 if anybody wants it. Beautiful. Okay, next we have here a, wow, what is this? Is this a octopus or some sort of a jellyfish? Jellyfish, right? Wow, that's beautiful. Look at all the rhinestones on the sky. And all of them are there, I believe. Wow, this one's gorgeous. And this one is marked, and it says, Yu Hong. Yu Hong. Not familiar with that, but that is just a beautiful brooch. And I will have to look this one up before I provide pricing. This one's just gorgeous. Love that one. Next we have here, very pretty, I think this is a snowflake brooch. And I believe these are enameled or some type of resin. Beautiful rhinestones, AB coated. This is the back of it, no mark. This will be $5. We have this beautiful, this copper brassy, copper toned flower. And these are enamel, I think. Gorgeous purple rhinestone, beautiful. Love how it's domed slightly. If this works, it does. Very nice and tight there. There's no mark on this beautiful guy. That's just pretty. I love the, the copper or the brass and the purples. This is two inches. If anybody's interested in this, this one will be six dollars. We have this beautiful pearl brooch with rhinestones. Some of the pearls have a little bit of the coating coming off. These rhinestones look very smoky. I think all the rhinestones are there. This looks to be in good condition. This is the back of the brooch. Really beautiful. This one's a little bit larger. This one measures about three inches by two and a half inches. Very pretty. This one will be seven dollars. Next we have another leaf brooch. So this one will be the same as the other two. Beautiful. So we have those. And if you buy all three of those, you will buy two, get one free. How's that sound? This one is beautiful. We have the enameled here. Very beautiful pink rhinestones. EB coated. They're all there. This is the back of the brooch. It has a little, oh, this is cute little pendant latch here. Very cute. Love that. Beautiful. And this one measures about one and a half inches. This one will be seven dollars. Just because it has that nice little latch there. It's pretty. Okay, we have this brooch. Really beautiful, it has a lot of, it's like a rope sort of chain. There's no mark on this, it's beautiful. Let's do this one for six dollars. Have this brooch, another flower, really pretty. Gold tone. 
And this one is marked. This one is marked AJC. I'm not familiar with AJC. So I'll have to look this one up too, but it's really beautiful. Love that. This one's beautiful. It has these hot pink flowers. Gorgeous little birch. There's a little bit of wear on the back of him. See that? That's in good condition. It's tiny. This one measures about one and a half inches by one and a half inches. Really cute. Love the colors on this. This will be five dollars. We have here a pearl brooch. This one is unsigned as well. Let's see, it's beautiful. This one measures two inches by two inches. Really lovely. This one will be four dollars. We have here a full tone brooch with a pearl. This one is marked and it says AV, I believe. I believe it says AV. So hard to read sometimes because it's so shiny and gold. But this could use a little bit of a wipe down. It could be shined up. I'm not sure if it's gold pleating. There is some wear on this one. So if anybody wants this, this will be $2. Okay, next we have a circle brooch here with another leaf. It's with the leaves, guys. I don't know. This is a very, I don't know, popular motif. There is a little bit of wear on the back here. But it's really cute, tiny, teeny, tiny brooch. Probably about an inch around. Yes. I love the mix of the textured and the shiny and that gold. This will be four dollars. Next we have this brooch, which sort of has a modernist sort of Mondrian look. There is some, I don't know if this is wear or just needs to be polished. We definitely could use a cleaning for sure, but it's very Interesting looking brooch. If anybody wants this, this one would be five dollars. We have another leaf brooch, brushed gold again. Very pretty. And this one has a mark? No, this one is not marked. Very pretty. one measures about three inches by an inch. Very beautiful brooch. This will be four dollars. I don't know, it smells a little bit like it may need a cleaning. That may need a cleaning. Next we have this brooch, very beautiful. And this one has a mark and it says three ladies right there. And it's really pretty, very dimensional. Look at that, 
Got flowers all around and some different shapes. This is the back of the brooch. So I'm not sure how to price this. I will look up three ladies and see if this um, could be worth more, but I'm not sure if it is. It's cute. So we have that. Next we have another leaf brooch. Very popular, again. This one is not marked. I mean, there is a little bit of, I don't know if that's how it's supposed to be, a little bit of cracking there. This one will be $5. Pretty. Next we have another starfish brooch, and this one's really cute. It has these little tiny pearls. I think they're pearls, or they're acrylic beads. Very pretty. This is the back of it. It's a teeny tiny one. And let's get a measurement on him. Oops, as I say that, one of the little pearls came out. Oh. Little teeny tiny pearl. So I think it is missing several pearls. It's missing two on top there. And then this one I think just came out from over here, I believe. So this guy needs to, oops, a bunch of pearls are just coming out of him. So if I find any more pearls in the bag, I will put them in to a little baggie for somebody to fix. If anybody wants him, he will be one dollar. Okay. We have here another leaf, and this one's silver. It sort of looks like the Canadian maple leaf. It's nice. There is a little bit of verdigris on him right there. But if anybody wants this, this will be three dollars. We have another plant. I wonder what this plant is. If anybody knows, please let me know. Or if this is some type of feather, I don't know. But it's a very popular motif, apparently. And the back of this, there is no mark. It's beautiful. If anybody wants this, this will be four dollars as well. And we have a heart brooch. No mark. Very nice. This one will be four dollars. We have another leaf brooch. <laughs> I like the design on this one though, with the open work. Anybody wants this? This one will be five dollars too. I think all of these need to be cleaned a little bit. I do feel like they have like a little bit of something going on, but um, it's pretty. That'll be four. And we have this gold tone brooch. Really beautiful. I love this one. This leaf brooch is really pretty. The detail on this. And this one is marked a JJ. The JJ mark. What do you? Hmm. There is some wear going on there. We'll do seven dollars on the JJ. Then we'll do six on the JJ. Next we have here a very abstract looking brooch with like sort of a snail and I don't know a bean perhaps <laughs> or coming out of its shell. This one is not marked. I 
I don't know which way you would wear it. But that's interesting. I like this one a lot. Anybody wants this? This will be five dollars too. Very interesting. We have this brooch, oval shaped, not marked. It's quite large. about almost three inches long by one and a half inches. This would be four dollars. And we have another one of these pins. So if anybody gets the set, it's definitely buy two, get one free. Really beautiful. I wonder if these are scatter pins, but they're quite large, so not sure, but there are four of them if anybody's interested. We have here a rope, sort of a pretzel look going here. There's no mark on this guy. I really like that. That's cute. Let's get a measurement on this one. This one is about two and a half inches by one and a half. Really nice. And this will be five dollars, four dollars. Why not? So we have another wreath brooch here. This will be two dollars if anyone is interested. Silver tone. We have this gorgeous lady. She's got all these rhinestones, blue and red, and I think they are All there. Very beautiful. This is unmarked. This be five dollars too if anybody wants it. Okay, we have a another leaf brooch, and this one's enameled. Very beautiful. It's got these red and black and gold going through it. It's sort of like my nail polish, almost. And this one is unmarked, but it is gorgeous. Um, let's see. It's also got some green going on here. I thought that was something that I think that is the green at the edges here. Really pretty. Uh, we'll do $5 on that, too. We have here a silver tone brooch. A little pearl dangling in here. This one is not marked. We'll do $4 on her. Okay, a couple of more brooches in here, and then we're done. We have a Giovanni. Giovanni brooch. It's a gold toned flower. And it is marked Giovanni in two places. Once on, one on a leaf and one on the stem. So this looks like the silver tone flower we found earlier. But that one I did not see a mark on, so they're very similar. So I'm going to look up Giovanni, and if anybody's interested in this, I will give a price on this one, which this one is beautiful. Very similar to this one. Okay. Then we have this brooch, and these are I don't know if this is glass. It doesn't feel cold to the touch, though. We have these rhinestones. And it's got metal on the back. Not marked. This would be $5. If anybody wants this one. We have another pearl brooch. Gold tone. Unmarked. This would be $4. We 
have another leaf brooch. This one is very tinny, lightweight. This will be three dollars. And we have another one of those leaf brushes, very similar. There is some wear on here on the pearl. This will be two dollars. We have here a very beautiful heart brooch. Two of hearts. Mm, but there is some wear here. And if anyone wants this, this will be four dollars. Okay, and we have this beautiful enamel brooch. Sort of looks like a trefari. It's not marked. Beautiful. Thinking 70s, 80s here. This one's a little bit large, so I'm going to give you a measurement on this. This one measures three inches by a little under, it's about one and a quarter. Very beautiful. I like that a lot. Let's do $8 on this one. It's beautiful. We have this swash. There's some wear here on the gold plating. So we'll just do two dollars on this. Then we have a short sort of like a fruit, maybe. This is a teeny tiny guy, and it says Taiwan right there. Cute. Let's do five dollars on that one. Then we have here really beautiful brooch. Oh, man, this looks really sort of old to me. I could be wrong. This is the pin back. This is plastic. Really pretty. This will be five dollars too. Then we have here a little shell brooch. Very beautiful on the details here. Gorgeous, painted, and this marked. This one says something W Spear Design. So we have that. I will look this one up. Then we have a pin with a star in the middle. And it does have a little bit of, I believe there's some verdigris there. It could be probably easily cleaned up. But this will be $2 if anybody wants. Then we have this brooch, very beautiful. The rhinestones and the flower. Gorgeous. And. This one's not marked. Very pretty and delicate looking. Let's do this for $5 too. And then last but not least, we have a sort of a safety pin brooch. Gold tone with the pearl and gold beads. And this will be $2 if anybody wants that. Okay guys, so that is it. And I don't see, oh I see another pearl. So I'm going to take little teeny tiny pearl. I do see a little tiny rhinestone, so I will try and find out where that came from. But, yeah guys, if you're interested in anything you see in this video, please feel free to email me at girlyorocks at gmail.com. Please include a timestamp and the screenshot of the items that you're interested in. And shipping starts at $5 for under a pound. If you go over a pound, shipping is based on weight and location. So thank you guys for watching me unbox this beautiful box of brooches. Uh, definitely assortment of goodies here. So definitely contact me if you see anything that you like or if you have any questions. So yeah, guys, thank you for watching. 
please hit that bell notification to be notified of any upcoming videos such as this so you don't miss one. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And most of all, guys, be well.